Hello, class of 2024, and congratulations on being accepted to Endicott College. My name is Nick Grace, and I'm a senior marketing major with a minor in photography from Stunham, Massachusetts. I'm so excited to welcome you all to the Endicott family. This is truly the start of your Endicott experience. While I would have loved to welcome you all in person at our traditional accepted students day, due to the circumstances in today's world, I'll be sharing my story, insights, and give some advice to you all in this fashion. Four years ago, I attended my own accepted students day. And now, in just a few short months, I'll be walking across the stage at commencement and my time as an Endicott student will be complete. When people say these four years fly by, what they don't tell you is that they actually will, and it's not just a saying. Before you know it, you'll be in your final months of college wondering where the time went. As a photography student, I am taught to capture the moments that make a story. Likewise, your college experience is a collection of moments that make up your unique college story. This is a story that will have its ups and downs but it will change who you are and put you onto the path to who you will become. You won't remember every single moment of your college days, but the ones you do will be the moments that stick with you for the rest of your life. To start, I vividly recall moving in freshman year and introducing myself to the people in my res hall. Nervous, of course, but so is every incoming student. I remember having to push myself out of my comfort zone a bit because at the time I was not nearly as outgoing as I am now. This decision pushed me in to walk into a kid's room when I saw he also had a camera. Little did I know that pushing myself at that moment would lead me to a friendship, a roommate for the next three years, and someone who I consider to be a brother. During college, you have times where you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone, but don't be afraid. On the other side is something amazing, and you won't know unless you try. Later that year, I would go on to be hired to become an orientation leader. Believe it or not, I still have that email that was sent to me the day I was hired. This is a moment that not only changed who I am, but allowed me to make an impact at a place that I love so much. Over the last three years, the orientation team has become my family. This family consisted of 100 plus people from all different backgrounds and majors. In addition to becoming an orientation leader, it introduced me to the incredible student affairs staff. One member of the staff, Brian McGann, would not only become a mentor to me, but would be there for me in my toughest times and honestly change my life for the better. I would then go on to being hired by Brian to become one of the first student leaders to lead our first ever onboard program. I remember the day she walked into our meeting room and gave my fellow orientation assistants and I a blank schedule and we were tasked with creating a summer program that would help new students adjust to college, make new friends, and most importantly, have fun. This past year, onboard helped more than 200 new students. I encourage you all to go on an onboard retreat. It's an incredible way to start your college career and make friends before you can step on campus in the fall. Onboard became my passion project, and it gave me so many great moments to look back on. Saying goodbye to a program that I had helped create is going to be difficult, but I know it is in good hands, and I am proud it will be a part of the legacy I leave at Endicott. So while you're at Endicott, invest in the community and leave Endicott a little bit better than you found it. Leave a legacy that will last long after you cross the stage. While I consider the orientation team part of my family, Another part of my Endicott family came from the most unexpected places. It came in the form of the Endicott College dance team. If you had told me as an incoming freshman, the team I would photograph the most would be the dance team, I probably would have laughed. But little did I know how much this team would become a family to me. While I do not dance, and trust me, that's for the best, this team and Coach Nikki have treated me like I was out there dancing right beside them from the start, even giving me my own senior day. I was there for their lowest moments and of course their proudest moments, like winning their first ever national championship. Being there for them through it all taught me that during college, all of your moments won't be about you, but you can be there for your friends and teammates in their lowest moments and cheer them on during their proudest moments. So when you arrive at Endicott, find the people who make up your Endicott family, the people who build you up and support you no matter what. Be there for them and they will be there for you forever. I promise you, they're out there. They may just come from the most unexpected of places. Furthermore, one winter night, I received a Twitter DM from me Seagulls, Endicott Athletics account run by Sean Medeiros, Endicott Sports Information Director, saying that he had seen my work and asked if I was interested in photographing our athletic games. I was so pumped about this opportunity since this was a goal of mine before I had even stepped foot on campus. Since that moment, I have taken photos at countless athletic events, games, and most importantly, championships. Thankfully, most of which we were on the winning end of. While this opportunity gave me a solid portfolio, more importantly, it gave me two mentors, Sean and David Lee, and the Scott staff photographer. 
Both of these individuals invested in me from the start of my college career. They invested hours of their time and shaped me into the person and photographer I am today. So while you are at Endicott, find your mentors. Endicott's faculty and staff are some of the kindest and caring people I know. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Talk to your professor after class, get to know your RD or work study supervisor. These people are there for you and they will become some of the most influential people in your life. Speaking of influential people in my life, I was lucky enough to have the two best internship coordinators, Professor Marie Wilson and Professor Mary Ellen Fidrick. These two people had believed in me and helped me since the first day of internship class as a freshman and then again as a junior. Professor Wilson connected me with my first ever internship with an event and wedding photographer and would help me almost daily with anything I needed. And Professor Fidrick called me out during my fall semester junior year for not emailing me my dream internship site. Without Professor Fidrick's guidance, I may not have chased my dream internship. For me, my dream internship was at a Duke University Athletics photographing their men's basketball team, working for an idol of mine in the sports photography world. Well, apparently being called out and held accountable was exactly what I needed. That night, I decided to chase that dream and write a blog on why interning at Duke was my dream internship. And I cold emailed their head photographer at 1 a.m. I really didn't think it was gonna work, but at least I knew that I had tried my best. After not hearing back for a while, I almost gave up until one day I got a call from a Texas phone number. To be honest, I thought it was a spam call, but I answered it anyway, and boy, I'm glad I did because it was a call from Duke's head photographer, Reagan Lund. After some persistence and emailing back and forth, I was offered an internship at Duke Athletics. A few months later, I was heading down to North Carolina and I got to live out a dream that I had had since I was a child and something that I worked really hard for. What you don't see, however, are the countless times I would skip hanging out with my friends to photograph a game or the hours I would spend with David, Sean, and Professor Wilson perfecting my portfolio and my resume. College is the time to chase your dreams. If you work hard during your four years, I promise you'll be in the position to achieve every goal you set out to accomplish, and in my case, and hopefully your case, exceed expectations. I can proudly say that my hard work paid off, and in a few short months, I'll be starting a post-grad photography internship with the Boston Red Sox. In fact, if accepted students they were to have happened on campus, I would have been leaving campus immediately following my speech to photograph their home game. These moments I have shared with you have created my Endicott story. The people in it have helped shape this story and me into the person I am today. I could not be more grateful for every moment I have spent at Endicott. I know that leaving Endicott and my Endicott family will be one of the most difficult things I will do in my life, but I know that I will forever be a gull and the people here will forever be a part of my family. Class of 2024, while my story is ending, yours is just beginning. I challenge you to seek out the moments that make up your Endicott story. Create a story that you will be proud of four years from now and never forget that every day is a great day to be a gull. Thank you.